Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Irving, with one last uh, anime first impression video. In fact, probably not going to post this till tomorrow morning, but I still wanted to record it tonight. And that's going to be on Beast Tamer, uh, a series airing on Crunchyroll. Only one episode is out and it released today, Saturday, the 1st of October. Um, this is, again, you guys can find it on Crunchyroll and maybe other sites. I'm not sponsored by Crunchyroll, so you guys can look it up wherever you guys want to find it uh before anything else though if you have not done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel give some love by commenting liking and sharing also uh if you haven't checked out my first impression videos that i released today go check those out uh other series that released through high dive and crunchy row and then uh subscribe because i will be posting a lot more first impression videos for you guys to see what they're about, are they worth it, uh, should you watch it, yes or no, where to watch it, and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm also trying to reach 5K by the end of the year, so that would, you know, help me, help you. So kind of all help each other. Cool. Uh, Beast Tamer, like I said, one episode's out as of right now, only subbed. Um, this is actually one that I could see them wanting to dub, but I haven't gotten confirmation yet on it yet so can't really say right now if it will be dubbed um story itself starts at a pretty uh sad point of the character uh the character himself is a beast tamer and essentially uh he's able to control animals um either temporarily or do a contract with them and i guess to, up to this point he hasn't really done a contract with any of them uh only tamed them for temporarily jobs and he is part of the hero group now pretty impressive that he's part of the hero group but he's kind of the gopher for them and at the beginning of this episode he is essentially kicked out of the hero group they really ridicule him in front of the group themselves and they all kind of have like real negative points uh to basically point out of him and essentially make him feel like he was really never respected he was always seen like a gopher and what i mean by gopher is as in the errand boy he was the one that would go and buy the materials go and deliver stuff go and uh buy food and and, and so on and so forth so he was really used as more of a servant and his abilities were, were always uh put down and essentially he i feel like he never grew because he was told that where he was at was all he was gonna be and man I, <laughs> if that doesn't hit home for some of you guys it, it should I, I i as a teacher um, I like to encourage kids that, you know, if they've been told that they can do only so much, that that shouldn't be their limit. They can dream on beyond that. And essentially, that's really the premises of the anime. He be decides that he's going to become a better person. Um, hears good things about himself throughout the village that, you know, even though he's part of the hero group, He's not stuck up. He's not, you know, a wannabe and stuff like that. So people are encouraging to him. He becomes an adventurer, which uh, is seen as a lower job by the heroes because it's like, you know, kind of like the everyday uh, job that people don't want. So he becomes an adventurer and his goal is to get 10 goblins and herbs. And he's able to do that. And while completing this mission, he encounters a huge beast attacking a little girl uh or or a girl not really a little girl a girl and he defends the girl and the girl ends up actually uh, instead of running away helping him defeat the beast and he later like, finds out that he she is a cat spirit uh which is a rare spirit um he's very amazed that you know there's one in existence still and she kind of explains that you know they live in the mountains and they kind of have boring lives so she decided to explore and she decided to meet him and they become real good friends and then she's like wait you're a beast tamer well maybe you can tame me i'm i'm, a, I'm technically a beast and yeah he's able to actually done do a permanent contract with her and he tames her as one of his beasts now uh, after that, she encounters him being able to do multiple temporary contracts with a bunch of little rabbits. And 
This is actually a scene that if you're watching the first episode and you're kind of like me, once the end credits show up, you kind of stop watching it. Don't do that. After the end credits, we get a whole scene, which is the scene. And it actually explains a little bit of what's going on in this, in this, you know, to this guy. And essentially she's like, wait, <coughs> you're a tamer that can do a contract with a spirit like me, which, you know, you don't know, but it's a big deal. But then after that, you can do multiple contracts with, uh, with you know, a lot of beasts at the same time. And he's like, yeah, I've been doing that for forever. Like, that's that's just kind of thing. She's like, you don't realize, but you're a very rare beast tamer. Your ability is beyond what you believe it is. And that's kind of the end of the episode. Again, the message itself is actually a pretty good message. And I myself share or try to share that message. I, I, I you know... Sometimes it's not easy to do that to every single student, but I do try my best to share that message is that a lot of people uh, have grown to be in a box, in, in, I guess, in their abilities, and they've decided at a very young age, sometimes even very young, like 10, 12, that what they can do is all they can do, and that's not the case for a lot of people. A lot of people... Uh, can do a lot more. And eventually people realize that on their own, but there's other people that just the potential that they had is just wasted away because someone told them and someone they respected told them that that was all they were, they were going to be. And it's just beautiful to see how this character is going to develop. Uh, it does seem like it's going to be kind of a harem, uh, but one of, I guess, the cleaner harems where he does, I guess, get other beasts who happen to be all girls, according to the end credits. So we'll see. Uh, this is one that if it's dubbed, I definitely going to watch it. Don't know if I'm going to finish it if it's not dubbed, but we'll see. If I have time, I might actually watch this one. It's very cute. Out of 10, I'll give this one 6.5. I think it's doing its job. A lot of people are going to enjoy it. And it's very sweethearted, and I, I really wish uh, and he gets his revenge against this very jerky hero group. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, comment, like, and share, and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other first impression videos. I will post more uh, today, I guess, which is, I, I'm, when I'm posting this video will be on a Sunday. So, hopefully, I'll post more videos as well. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.